most of the common mistakes made by youtube creators is to give up on their channel when the channel is not doing well without even finding out if there are settings that are not in place in this video i'm going to be sharing you seven important settings to turn on just so that your channel is going to be more secured more visible and of course it is going to enable more youtube features i promise you this is a video that you wish you have seen before now so make sure to grab your pen and paper because you're going to be implementing a lot let's go so we are going to be working with the desktop version of youtube studio if you're working with your phone head over to your browser preferably the google chrome browser type on the search bar youtube studio desktop version when it loads up long press on the screen and four options are going to come up click on open a new tab further go ahead and click on the new tab this is going to load up youtube studio in a desktop format on your mobile phone number one setting in my list is location click on the settings icon in the bottom corner of the page now further go ahead and select channel on that channel click on basic info now click on country of resident and make sure to put your exact country country where you are based at the moment some people might want to play smart and put the us just so that their cpm can be higher but by doing that you are going to incur taxes and you will have issues getting your payment once your channel is monetized number two settings is adding keywords that people can use to look for your channel still under the option of channel and basic info you are going to see a keyword box in that box write in individual keywords that are related to your channel so that when people search for any of these keywords your channel is going to be among the ones youtube is going to recommend you can and either enter comma or press on enter to separate the keywords when you are done adding as multiple keywords as you want you can go ahead and click on save settings number three is identifying your channel audience still on that channel option click on advanced settings here you are going to note if you upload content meant for kids or not i'm going to tell you the reasons why this is important youtube tries to create a safe environment for kids that is 13 years and below is identified as kids on youtube if your content is not about cartoons or specific kids like content please click on not meant for kids another reason why this is important is high ticket advertisers are obviously not going to beat their ads on a channel that is meant for kids so now that you have an understanding click on your preference and make sure to save the next setting we want to give attention to is contact info 90 percent of the youtube creators make this very important mistake they most likely use the same email they use in creating their youtube channel for business thereby exposing these particular emails to hackers so when they come with your fake business proposal they will most likely send you a file that is bugged so when you click on their link they immediately have access to your channel thereby hacking your channel and most likely sometimes you cannot get it back so for contact info it is best to create a fresh email mainly for business head over to the customization icon that looks like a magic wand click on basic info and scroll down to the bottom where you would find contact info make sure to put a separate email that people can contact you for business such as collaborations sponsorships and so on by so doing you have reduced the risk of having your channel hijacked by hackers thank me by subscribing to my channel <laughs> if you don't have a business email here is your call to open one as soon as possible when you're done adding your email you can go ahead and click on publish the next setting we'll be looking at is the feature eligibility this is going to enable features that has been restricted prior to these settings still on that settings and on that channel click on feature eligibility you will see standard feature intermediate feature and advanced feature as long as you have adhered to youtube community guideline by default standard feature is going to be enabled now on to intermediate feature this feature is very important to be enabled because it allows you to upload videos more than 15 minutes do a live stream and most importantly add a custom thumbnail in order to enable this feature you have to verify your phone number click on verify phone number it's going to take you to a fresh page now go ahead and click on how you want to receive the code 
either by phone call or by text message after that select your country and impute your phone number after imputing your phone number click on get code and a verification code is going to be sent to your line impute the verification code and submit congratulations your number has just been verified <laughs> now moving forward to advanced feature this is also very important because this feature allows you to apply for monetization add clickable links access community tabs pin comments and so much more now to enable this feature we are going to click on access features you're going to see three different methods you can use to verify your identity the fastest method is to use video verification click on use video verification and google is going to send a verification email to your mail the process from here is quite easy just go to your mail and verify the message that got in allow google access to your phone camera and stare at the camera for at least 30 seconds tilt your face to whatever direction you are being led and after you are done click on submit and wait for them to approve the approval might take a day or two the next setting on my list is upload defaults still under settings click on upload default here you can type automatic descriptions and tags that can go up with your videos every time that you upload if your content is niche based this is going to help you save a lot of time for description you can put a brief introduction of the topic you can add your social media handles you can add links to other of your videos that you want to promote if you have other channels you want to promote you can as well add the links in the description after adding your description now move over to visibility and click on unlisted just so that when you are posting your video and it is not entirely ready you can still make changes and click on public when you want it to go live and of course you can do the same for tags well since we're already here i'll quickly like to recommend an seo tool called morning thing when it comes to video optimization arranging from keyword research comparing thumbnails tags and so much more morning fame is my go-to tool and i'm going to leave a link in the description just so you can check it out for free for the first one month now from basic info we are going to move on to advanced settings you're going to see automatic chapters automatic chapters can also be referred to as timestamps chapters or timestamps are a must-have if you are covering multiple topics in a video it helps to increase retention and watch time as the viewer can easily go to the chapter that best suits their interests clicking on this is going to activate that feature but just note that it is not always accurate but i would advise you not to click but always type your timestamps or your chapters manually now the next in my list is channel branding you want to make sure your channel has a good look when people are coming in especially for the first time so now to achieve this we head over to customization further click on branding here you are going to upload a profile picture that is fit to represent your channel it could be your personal photo or a brand photo when you upload it you click on save after that you go ahead to upload your banner this has a description of what your channel is about to have a clear and in-depth understanding about channel branding make sure to check out this video and if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and drop a kind comment in the comment section See you in the next content. Bye.